We were looking for artists who are working in very original ways, and she's one of them. The artist is Sabina Hornig, and the site is called the Three Site Link, 170 meter long connection of the three towers at Barangaroo, creating a, a very exciting walkthrough of this space. We looked at probably 200 artists in our process. Sabina Hornig was by far the most exciting. She just came back with the most amazing proposition for us. The role of, of public art is definitely to create a crossover between uh, the functionality of, of the building and pedestrian in the city. Sabina's work is unique, I would say, because of her really interesting understanding of the public domain. When she talks about this work of art, she talks about the pedestrian, like the person walking, and how she was making the work for the person walking. And I think, you know, among artists that I've worked with, she has the best understanding of that of any. Um, and that is exactly what this site is. You know, it, is, it really is the part of the towers that's open to the public. She understood the juxtaposition or the contrast, if you like, of this uh, rectilinear, new-built environment, the towers of Barangaroo, but also the natural side of Sydney, and wanted to give expression to that. Berlin's history as, as a divided city has fed into my artwork in, in that way that I started to divide spaces actually later on um, where you had uh, access partly to one side of the space and could only imagine the other side. She's interested in transparency and reflection. Um, and again, you know, and also sort of an overlapping of images. So like the metaphor, you're looking at something in front of you and actually you start to realize that it, it, it develops, imagery develops back into space. So there's a background and a foreground and, you know, sort of like a past and a present. You can expound on this and take it to much deeper levels. So once it closes off, you, uh, you see the image, but then at the same time you can suddenly see through and, and see the space behind at the same time. Uh, she's been mining this particular way of working using reflection and also your reflection. You're part of the work uh, because these are glass works which you will see yourself in, all of which she very intelligently works into her art form, you know, and the message that she's conveying. So it's more like a filmic situation in space. I've been always interested between the architecture and nature. If we go uh, through cities, our orientation is always um, pre-formulated by street signs and, and buildings that are globally equalized. Whereas, uh, so we never really orient on, on things that have been all, always there within the land. She let herself be advised by Aboriginal people, Emily McDaniel, Henriette Beard from the Botanic Gardens. I think as a European, she had a great understanding of re respect, the need for respect and how to come into a new place. I think the native plants for Sabina were important. I mean, she came here and, and we went out to a lot of the, you know, wilderness areas in Sydney. And I think that really affected her. A muse on what was here and also the whole Aboriginal history of that site. The reflective glass of the towers of the through site link will have images of historic plants overlaid to the glass to take stock of, of reality that has been there always before us. People don't realize this, but Sydney is now the leading city in the world for these sort of projects, which we'll call, you know, artworks for the public domain. Very important gift of Lend-Lease to the city, uh, that they are open, that anybody can walk in, you don't have to buy anything, you can be in the artwork. 